Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to part 5 of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Iran. Now in the last part we had a decent push against the Turkish until the British decided to come and uh, spoil my fun, shall we say. Now, of course, we're trying to reduce this front to nothing. And then we're going to try and reduce this front to nothing. Well, technically, we're actually going to move these guys to there, and they're going to, we're going to let them push slightly, I suppose. Actually, no, we'll get these guys over there, and we'll hope these guys can punch through here. Defeating Turkey is all we need to do in this war. The conquest of Karabakh. I don't think that was mine, was it? I think that was the enemy against me. I don't know. Yes, it was the enemy against me. So that's going to... We've only lost 26,000 men in the uh, that won this war, which is still too many by our standards, but... Oh, there's an empty slot there, that's why I can't join in that fight, makes sense. It's okay game, we don't need to cut them off. Not as if that would be at all useful to us. But once we win this fight, uh, we can continue on this way. It's just once we beat Turkey, we should be able to pull out, uh, beat the English. It's just beating the English, uh, well, beating the Turkish is uh, taking some time. As uh, I, I think you can notice. Yeah, you for me to win in every part of this. Lithuania capitulated, not my problem. There we go. 71%. We're pushing it who we can push it right now. Knights of Purification. Young nationalists gather all the first country. They say that someone they fired up. What's we'll this? Oh, even more fascists? Bitchin. Let's kick out everyone else. Oh, Turkey, you fall. I just my life will be so much easier once you fall. Oh, sack of shit. We've lost so many men so far. But I must admit I started all of my uh, stuff a bit too late. But no, we'll score there for now. But if we can get Kuwait. Well they've got docks in all three of these, so. It's not something I, can, uh, I can't break them in the, as a whole too easily. But we can break them. That's the good part. Like, we've lost quite a lot of equipment down here. But it's fine. Good, we took away. Once we took away, we take Basra. Luckily, all these guys are supporting. Support there. Good, good, good. Now we attack. Oh shit, that's just gonna be very hard to attack. Great. Oh, you guys, hold on there. Poland is capitulated. Treaty of Danzig. Wow, the Polish Republic was uh, pocketed. Very interesting. I get new guns soon. Let's get radio going. This front is very. Uh, it's not looking good for us there, but we'll see what we can do. We cannot lose against Turkey. We need to beat this front quickly. So once we beat Turkey, once we beat these guys, we can take Basra. The more support we get for artillery, the better we'll do. German Reich is uh, pursuing a lot of stuff. Now, I think we're winning both wars, and you need to beat, the sooner you beat France, the better. We could join together in the factions, but I, I don't want to. If they beat France, I will consider it, actually. Most because then I'll have a necessary reason, like a good reason to join them. Because England, I'm definitely going to need help against. And they took back a fucking city that matters to them. Go down there. 
The sooner we push the north, the better. Definitely looks like some. Why are these men pulled out? Don't pull out. Oh, fuck me. Really, game? Cunts. Come on. Get over here. Infantry equipment. Better weapons. So apparently, our attack stopped there. We need to re-break there then. And they've encircled this division. Let's uh, uncircle that division. Poland seed Danzig. Fortified my entire stuff. Get elite forces going. Move on, men, come on. Break Basra. On. It shouldn't take long, guys. My luck is just so bad at the moment. Hmm, Finland rear checks Soviet demands as it's pretty normal. It looks like we're going to lose this one unit. Ah, oh, lovely. look like my likelihood of winning against these guys is going, like, losing it every single day. It's getting worse. I don't think join, joining the Axis will not help us, of course, but why the fuck are my men running so far away, which makes no sense. They just keep fucking getting more men there. Come on. Luckily I have a port, so it's not too bad. This guy is definitely fucked. Unless I can break there. But the English are advancing in a way I can't stop. Until now. Fascism even, even more fascism, good. Support that fight there. That guy we're just gonna have to let that die at the moment. These guys have got the English helping them, that's the problem. You guys have pushed back to Syria. The enemy is considered to be inferior, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem once we get the um once the time is ready. You know what? I'm gonna keep going support for me. Luckily, Belgium will never have any problem with us. It's like, it'll never have it like a plausible or a probable cause on us, and they've got a lot of men in there. Yeah, we're we're, we're, out, we're well out of supplies, man. We are. Just, our luck is just not happening at the moment. How many tanks have we got? We've got 33 tanks until our factories got taken from us. Okay, you've got 11 divisions there to pour in, so you may as well just pour there anyway. Finland joined the Allies, not really a problem of mine. Uh, so you're at war with this British, you can have military access through me, my friend. We have a common goal. Good, you now have a, you now have a reason to live. Get everyone pushing there. Good. Pushing this way, place back. We're gonna get there. You've got there. Good, good, good. Continue that push. Now that we have all our men working towards this, we may be in a better situation. I fucking hope. I know this isn't the best idea, but no, fuck it, that's low. Reinforcements, then upgrades, then the coup. By the way, when is this coup gonna launch? That's not it. 
when is the, there it is, it is going to launch in 20, oh god, September next year. Wow, loads of events are giving us faster support. Kind of surprised about the number of them, to be honest. This general is now a level 4. This guy's level 7. He's having problems. Then again, um, there's a lot less. There's just the number of divisions in comparison to how many I've got is just daunting. Like they can, they're definitely being able to utilize more men than I am. Good. Okay, everyone, push that way. We need a couple more. We need to cut these guys off just to make their life a little bit harder. Good, 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 good. Once we retake the land that we need, it, over here is going to be a problem. Yeah, they've pushed quite far into my land over here. Oh, fuck, I mean, I'm so busy concentrating over here. I haven't, I did completely forgot about over there, which is a problem, but. I can't really do much about it. Yeah, what's this? Fuck it, we'll join the common turn. Mostly because it means that I get all of these units as backup. I said if times got really hard we would join a faction, and they did. So we joined the communists, because if I'm honest, the communists who I actually wanted to join if I just wasn't going to start some of my own uh, thing, I was going to join the commies. So now the commies are going to push these assholes out, and I'm going to have all the extra support I need. Although I'm not a commie, and never will be. I don't even know what the communist name is, I just don't think it's as cool as the fascist one. You guys are concerned as artillery. I'm actually going to show you as that. So that way I know what you are. So you, you guys are not the right units. Oh, that's, that explains a lot. That, that legitimately explains a lot. You guys are fucked. You guys are fucked. I love, this is my favorite part of this game, when you uh, engulf someone. But they're pushing back. That is until the Soviets decide to help. The Soviets will be able to push this back. Or at least they're fucking better. Mostly because I need those resources. Right there, for the love of God. We are definitely pushing over here, which is good. There's four units there, and their supplies do not seem to be going down quick enough. We're pushing back the English, so that's good. It's, it's, it's happening. It's uh, just happening very slowly. Soviets, I don't even know if they're even pushing back there at all. I'm hoping they are. It does look like I'm not going to get what I want out of India because of this, though. So we may have to uh, retry this for a later date, but at the moment we'll be fine. British having tanks does not fucking help. That much I'm going to agree with myself. Get over there quickly. Sometimes I don't understand why the game just doesn't like join into fights that mad. Oh, I have no supplies. My supplies are getting worse. Guns are way more important than any of this. I have to cancel you for now. Yeah. Trying to build as many factories as possible, so. The Soviets just look to be holding the border that the enemy caused me, so. 
It's nice to know that they care. They push back here, which is unfortunate. I'm not catching up with weapons at all right now. Once the efficiency comes back, I may be able to produce enough equipment, but I doubt it. I'm getting worse at this game, I swear. Oh well, I'm having fun, that's all I'm at. stop me. That means I get Damascus Bay route back. All in all, good things. But I'm the head of... I'm not ahead of this war, but I'm ahead of the other one, because that got joined into the Soviet finish. I got joined to a war I don't care about. The Turkish are getting their land back. The fucking British. So of course they are. It'd be nice if the AI did lend leases. But they don't, so that sucks. You'd think they'd do something that the AI should technically be doing. These guys should lack equipment now, so... It should be a good idea to kick their teeth in right now. I do not believe the British should get equipment up here. Because if they do, that's just annoying. We broke there. Um, Italy will take the rest of that out soon. Oh, fuck. We're attacking someone. Didn't expect to attack someone. Whoops. Well, then. That's rather disappointing. Aleppo back, just to give myself some capitulation points. Now we can upgrade stuff. Oh, wait, I can't because I don't have any product stuff to really assign anywhere, so there's no point. I may as well just sit on my points for now. The British seem to be pulling out less troops as well. Yeah, we're losing that fight. Oh, well. Trying to think what we can do. I wish the Soviets would push for us over there, but they just don't seem to want to. I'm going to just delete your war plans because they're stupid. That's a war plan. Council on the coup would give me 10,000 pieces of equipment back, so you know what? Fuck this coup. I don't give a shit what its percentage was. I need those guns back. Uh, it doesn't look like I was getting them back, so that's kind of crap. But at least thought you got the guns back. Right, you guys who are over here, just fucking push. There's no reason for you to not, so I need to, well, just get my land back. Finland capitulated. Oh, look, the British have equipment. Lucky cunts. Hmm. Yeah. Equipment just disappeared so quickly for us. Due to an early fuck-up of me too rushing to war, which is something I do a lot, so... But... Yeah. The rush to war did not make my life easy. Kind of effed me up a bit. As you can see, equipment-wise. Definitely need more equipment. So, if we were to do a restart, I will probably not... I'll probably forgo a bit of equipment. I'll probably forgo a bit of war early on. I'm still going to try and push this way, just because why not. But this front is going to be extremely hard to beat or take. No matter how many men we put on it. A lot of the British troops are up here as well. I'm not going to take a left way for now, because the British are just spurring loads of fucking troops everywhere. Stop that fucking arm. No, okay, we can't. Soviets, can I ask why you're not supporting this front, the front that we're losing? If 
think it'd be very logical to support this front, but the AI just seems to disagree. Then again, the AI does that a lot. Disagrees with uh, itself. Nearly pulling back the equipment, like we're nearly starting to stop losing when we're starting to make it, but it's not going to be enough. Just look, the Turkish are fully equipped, so yeah, we're not going to learn, we're not going to lose men or anything. You get over here and support that. Thank you, Hungary. Any support? is welcome. You go there. You go there. Actually, you go there. Alright, unfortunately, Jim, we are going to have to end this part here. Hope you guys have enjoyed and see you guys next part. See you guys then.